cast down, but we're not destroyed. We need to give them, uh, bless them, even though they persecute us. Don't recompense evil for evil. Why? 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15. And, and we'll close with this. 1 Corinthians 15. And again, it goes back to what we started with. The treasure that we have in earthen vessels is Christ in you, the hope of glory. The reason we are cast down but we're not destroyed is because of who we are in Christ. I'm not worried I'm going to lose my salvation even though they're trying to get me to worry about it because I've got Christ in me. He is the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory. It's not me performing the Ten Commandments, doing good works, doing what the church says. That's not my hope of glory. My hope of glory is Christ in me. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15, 55. 1 Corinthians 15, 55. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. The strength of sin is the law. When churchianity puts you under the law, these commandments, they're trying to get you back under sin. Maybe intentionally they're not, but that's what they're doing. The strength of sin is the law, and the sting of death is sin. Verse 57, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory. So I'm not worried about losing my salvation. I'm not, I may be cast down by the world. They're vexing me ten times with their words of churchianity. But I'm not destroyed. Why? Thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory. How? Through our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the treasure that we have in earthen vessels. He is my hope of glory. My hope of glory is not in me doing what the church tells me to do. Tithing, join, join the church, make Jesus the Lord of my life, confess my sins, keep short accounts with God. That's not my hope of glory. Christ is my hope of glory. God gives me the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So that's why they can cast me down with their vexing words of churchianity, ten times vexing my soul. But I'm not destroyed. I'm not defeated because Christ gave me the victory. Dear Lord, we thank you for the victory that we have in Christ, that we are complete in Him, that even if we decide not to hold the head, that we can never be separated from Christ because we are part of His body. What a tremendous blessing it is. Help us, Lord, to recognize the treasure that we have in earthen vessels and to access that treasure by believing what God's Word says, reading it, and using the mind of Christ to apply it, that we may be good ambassadors for Christ to overcome the wiles of the devil and what churchianity and atheism and all the things of the world are doing so that Christ may win the victory in our lives and in other lives, other people's lives. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so we finished uh, verse...